10 unique animals you have never seen before. Think you've seen it all? Well, think again. While we've charted most of our planet, there are still hidden corners waiting to reveal their astonishing inhabitants. Join us as we dive into the unknown and unveil 10 extraordinary creatures that prove there's more to Earth than meets the eye. Prepare to be amazed because the most incredible discoveries are often the ones we least expect. Number 1. Pink Fairy Armadillo The pink fairy armadillo is the smallest and arguably cutest species of armadillo, native to Argentina, measuring about 9 to 11 centimeters in length. It has a distinctive pinkish color, which is attributed to the blood vessels showing through its translucent shell. The hard outer shell is flexible, and the animal can curl itself into a ball for protection. These armadillos are primarily found in the sandy plains and grasslands of central Argentina, particularly in provinces like La Pampa, Mendoza and San Luis. They are expert burrowers and use their strong claws to dig tunnels in the sandy soil, where they find shelter from predators and extreme temperatures. Number 2. Okapi The Okapi is a unique and relatively rare ungulate native to the dense tropical rainforests of the Aturi Forest in the northeastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Okapi is often referred to as the forest giraffe due to its resemblance to giraffes. It has a robust body with a dark brown to reddish brown coat, marked by horizontal white stripes on the hindquarters and upper legs. These stripes help the okapi blend into its forest environment. Adult okapis typically stand around 1.5 to 2 meters tall at the shoulder. They have a long neck, similar to giraffes, but it is shorter and lacks the distinctive pattern seen in giraffes. Okapis are herbivores and mainly feed on leaves, fruits, buds, and other plant materials found in the forest. Number 3. Eye Eye The Eye Eye is a fascinating and unusual primate species native to Madagascar. They are found in various forest types throughout Madagascar, including rainforests, deciduous forests, and coastal forests. Eye Eyes have a unique and somewhat bizarre appearance. They have large, round and reflective eyes, large bat-like ears, and a long, bushy tail. The most distinctive feature of the eye-eye is its elongated, slender middle finger, which is significantly longer than the other fingers. This specialized finger is used for a unique feeding method known as tap foraging. Using its long middle finger, the eye-eye taps on tree bark to locate hollow chambers where wood-boring insect larvae reside. Once the larvae are detected, the eye eye gnaws a hole in the wood with its forward slanting incisors and extracts the prey using its long, flexible middle finger. Number 4. Vaquita The vaquita is a critically endangered species of porpoise that is found in shallow, murky waters of the northern Gulf of California, particularly in areas with high concentrations of fish, their primary prey. Vaquitas are the smallest and most endangered cetaceans, with adults typically reaching lengths of about 1.2 to 1.5 meters. They have a distinctive black ring around their eyes and dark patches on their lips. The vaquita population has experienced a severe decline in recent years, primarily due to bycatch in illegal gillnets set for another critically endangered species, the totoaba fish. Totoaba swim bladders are highly valued in traditional Chinese medicine, leading to illegal fishing activities in the vaquita's habitat. It was estimated that only a few dozen individuals remained in the wild. Number 5. Fossa The fossa is a carnivorous mammal native to the island of Madagascar. It is the largest carnivore in Madagascar and holds a unique ecological niche. Fossas are found in a variety of forest habitats on Madagascar, including rainforests, deciduous forests and dry scrublands. The fossa has a slender and elongated body with a cat-like appearance. It has a head with a pointed snout, large eyes and retractable claws. Adult fossas typically measure around 70 to 80 centimeters in body length, with an additional tail length of about 60 to 70 centimeters. Fossas feed on a variety of prey, including lemurs, birds, small mammals and reptiles. They are skilled climbers and hunters, capable of pursuing prey both on the ground and in trees. They are known for their agility in climbing trees and are capable of making impressive leaps from branch to branch. Number 6. Numbat The Numbat is a small marsupial mammal native to Australia. 
Also known as the banded antiota or marsupial antiota, the numbat is unique among marsupials for its specialized diet of termites. Numbats have a slender body with a pointed snout and a distinctive reddish-brown coat adorned with black and white bands across their back and tail. They have a long, bushy tail, rounded ears, and a conspicuous black stripe that runs down their back. Adult numbats are relatively small, with an average length of about 23 to 31 centimeters and a tail length of approximately 15 to 23 centimeters. They have an extremely long tongue, measuring about 25 centimeters, which they use to capture termites from the ground and from within termite mounds. Unlike many other marsupials, numbats are not arboreal and primarily move on the ground. Number 7. Markor The markor is a large wild goat species that inhabits mountainous regions of Central Asia, including Afghanistan, Pakistan and parts of India. Known for its impressive spiraled horns, the markor is a charismatic and distinctive ungulate. Markors are large and robust goats with a stocky build. They have a short reddish-brown to grey coat, which helps them blend into their rocky mountainous habitats. One of the most notable features of the markor is its impressive corkscrew-shaped horns. The horns can reach lengths of up to 1.6 meters and are present in both males and females, though they are larger in males. Number 8. Maned Wolf The maned wolf is a unique canid species native to South America, particularly found in central and eastern parts of Brazil, as well as in parts of Paraguay, Argentina and Bolivia. Despite its name, the maned wolf is not closely related to wolves. Maned wolves inhabit a variety of habitats, including grasslands, savannas and scrub forests. The maned wolf has a distinctive appearance, characterized by long, slender legs and a reddish-brown fur coat. Its fur is long and coarse, with a black mane that runs along the back of the neck and shoulders, giving it the name Maned Wolf. With a height of about one meter at the shoulder, the Maned Wolf is the largest canid in South America. Number 9. Glaucus Atlanticus Glaucus Atlanticus, commonly known as the Blue Dragon or Blue Sea Slug, is a small and striking marine creature that belongs to a group of sea slugs known as nudibranchs. It is often found floating on the surface of the water drifting with ocean currents. The blue dragon is known to inhabit both tropical and temperate oceans and is commonly found in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Ocean. Glaucus Atlanticus is known for its vibrant and striking coloration featuring shades of blue and silver. This coloration is an example of apossumatism, a warning signal to potential predators that the animal is toxic. The blue dragon has a slender and elongated body, reaching lengths of up to 2.5 to 5 centimeters. It has wing-like structures known as serrata on its body. Number 10. Geranuk. The Geranuk is a species of antelope found in East Africa, particularly in parts of Somalia, Kenya and Tanzania. The Geranuk is often referred to as the giraffe-necked antelope. Geranuks inhabit arid and semi-arid areas, including savannas, dry thornbush and scrubland. They are well adapted to living in areas with limited water sources. The Geranuk is a slender and long-necked antelope with a distinctively small head and large eyes. Its most notable feature is its long, slender neck, which it uses to reach high branches for feeding. Adults typically stand about 65 to 100 centimeters at the shoulder, and their overall length, including the tail, ranges from 110 to 175 centimeters. Geranoks have a reddish-brown coat, lighter on the underparts, and they often have a lighter colored band along their sides. As we wrap up this extraordinary journey through the animal kingdom, remember that our world is a treasure trove of surprises waiting to be uncovered. Which of these unique creatures left you in awe? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you do not want to miss any new videos. Until next time.